Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I'm in my 2023 Tesla Model Y long range. I just got this eight days ago, guys. Uh, so I've just had it just over a week now. One of the reasons I got this car was that it, it's eligible to have my free supercharging benefit from my 2015 Model S transferred to this car. I'll leave a link to the video where I explain that in more detail. But if your car has free, super, free unlimited supercharging, quarter four of 2023, if you buy a new car, an S, X, or Y, you can transfer that to that new car. And I bought this. So I've been waiting over the last eight days for this to transfer. I didn't see why it would take so long for Tesla to transfer that from the old car to the new car. It's just a software uh, feature that's on the uh, on the car. But it took them almost eight days, well, over eight days to get that transfer to this car. So as of today, right now, this car now has free unlimited supercharging on this car. Now, that supercharging won't transfer. If I sell the car, it won't transfer. It won't transfer if I transfer it out of my account. So this car is going to stay under my account and I'm going to keep it really for as long as I possibly can because having free supercharging, guys, that's a huge benefit. I can charge the car. I can go on road trips. I can travel at no cost using the Tesla supercharging network, which is only growing. I mean, since I've had my car, I've had my Model S for over three years now. Since that time, the amount of superchargers in my area and the end have grown like along the routes that I typically road trip on has grown exponentially. I mean, it's it's been great. And this car being able to charge at 250 kilowatts at these new, you know, V3 chargers and soon V4 chargers is a huge benefit too. So the older Tesla, the Model S that I have, I still have it. It just charges slower. It can only charge up to 78 kilowatts. That's only if the battery is completely empty. You know, if the battery is half full, it's going to charge like at 40 kilowatts or something. Just super excruciatingly slow to get, you know, 100 miles of range. It takes 40, 45 minutes. So it's pretty... It just made traveling that car a lot more painful, especially I have a, another Model Y and having used that a few times road tripping, that's been a huge benefit. So to have this car now with that benefit is awesome. So later today, I'm going to head over to a supercharger. Uh, I've got a few th a few errands I've got to run. I'm going to head over to a supercharger. I don't have one really close to me. I don't have like the nearest one's probably like 20, 25 miles away. So it's not, I don't regularly p pass one and it's not very convenient for me to like drive 20 miles one way just to charge and then drive 20 miles back if i'm passing that way which i do commonly go to that area but if i'm passing down that way yeah i'll stop by there and just get a quick charge but i'm not gonna i don't have one close to me i'm hoping we get i get one soon in my area but uh really where i'm going to use it is like road tripping we've gone on many road trips in my model s and so being able to take this on road trips and travel for no cost that's a huge benefit especially with gas prices being so high and being able to use this instead it'd be awesome Another cool thing I want to tell you guys about, I did the acceleration boost on this car. Now, this is the Model Y long range. This In stock form, it goes 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, which is very quick for a car. I mean, you're still faster than pretty much every car on the road at 4.8 seconds. That's a fast accelerating vehicle. It really is. But Tesla has an acceleration upgrade. I don't think this is, an, this is available for the performance version. The performance version already goes in 3.5. And then this new rear-wheel drive version that is 6.6, .6, 0 to 60 time, I don't think it's available for that one because it wasn't available for the, the dual-motor Model Y that was they just kind of discontinued that was using the 4680 cells that was like 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. I don't think the, perform, the, the acceleration boost was available for that car. Let me know in the comments down below if it was that it's only for the long range. It's a $2,000 upgrade if you want to upgrade your 0 to 60 time. So you shave 0 0.6 seconds off your 0 to 60 time, which that's actually a big improvement. If you think of a gas car, whether it's turbo, supercharged, or any V8 car, whatever it might be, if you think of the amount of money and time and expense you have to spend in order to get that car to go quicker, 0 0.6 seconds, 0 to 60, that's a huge, that's a huge difference. And this car, you can just upgrade it Warranty, you haven't voided the warranty. Everything still works great. You just get quicker times. So it's cool that you have that option that Tesla unlocks that, that uh, acceleration boost on this car. It's $2,000. I didn't pay the $2,000 because I had I had some referral credits and I was able to redeem the referral credits. The referral credits were about 9,500 9, referral credits, which is just about one referral. But like, it's cool that like, you can you can do the credits instead of having to pay two thousand dollars cash. So that really made that referral almost worth two thousand dollars, which was pretty cool. So big shout out to you guys for using my referral link. It's a noticeably difference. It's not just a little bit. It's significantly quicker, zero to sixty. It just doesn't have that lag like it had in stock form. 
So that's a definitely a worthwhile upgrade. And a little bit later, I'm gonna head over to the supercharger and we're gonna see exactly how this charges, make sure there's no cost, and really test out the supercharging on a car that's got, you know, 250 miles on it, basically a brand new car. Quick tip on how to find charging destinations. Uh, so if you just if you just click on the map here, if you just touch on the map on the right side here, you just touch over here, it pulls up a little menu on the side here. And this bottom one is the charging link. See that little lightning bolt? You just touch on that, and then it'll pull up charging locations in your area. I live in northern Utah, and these are the ones around my area, and it, and it lists them here, the ones that you're closest to versus furthest away. And the ones that have a little clock on it, that means there's a waiting time. And then the red, the numbers inside the red uh, circle here, those, those are how many charging stalls right now are available at those charging locations. And so I want to go to one, see how it also says the different kilowatts. I want to go to one that has a 250 kilowatt charging ability because that's going to be quicker. This car can charge that that fast. The ones the 150, I try to avoid those. So All right, so we're going to select this location here when we get there. Uh, we'll be able to supercharge and you can see here how it says preconditioning battery for fast charging So that's why it's helpful to, to navigate to the supercharger so that you're preconditioning the battery for optimal Charging speeds you're, you're, the battery will charge faster if it's warm and preconditioned versus one that if you just like show up to the location without navigating there All right, so we're driving here. Uh, I want to do a uh, just an acceleration boost here you know, it go, this goes 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds now that I have this this uh, acceleration boost on there. <laughs> like, it, this thing pulls, man. I it, it seems like it's faster, like, 20 to 60. Like, that, that first that first 20 miles an hour is is quick, but it's it really picks up. Like, once you hit 20 miles an hour, then it really kicks in and, and starts accelerating. So this thing, like, this thing accelerates hard. You don't need to have a car faster than this, like... If you're looking at the performance model Y, you know it comes with the the 21 inch wheels. You know it does come, it does faster, but this is this has more range. This with having the 330 miles of range, and you can get it pretty quick, almost four seconds, zero to 60 is like kind of the ideal car to drive because you're you're never really gonna like utilize the this just that super fast acceleration under four seconds i mean you don't really need it you're still you're still faster in pretty much every car on the road anyways so uh that's why I, that's why i chose the model y long range this has the seven seat option so i wanted to have the seven seat option and that's only available in the long range so kind of the long range i feel is kind of like the, the sweet spot in the uh the model y trims all right so when we get to the supercharger it might be dark when we get there but we'll uh I'll, we'll I'll do some recording. We'll see what kind of speeds we're getting and how quickly we can charge up. All right, I just got to the supercharger. I'm plugged in, and I want to see how fast I'm going to charge. This is a 250 kilowatt charger, and this car can obviously charge that fast. Now, because I, this is the first time charging with this car, Tesla's giving me a few tips here on the screen. Uh, one is to get there. If you get to the supercharger with less than 20% battery, the car is going to charge a lot quicker from you know 20 to 70 to 80% than it is i'm gonna i'm at 60 percent and i probably will leave it around 90 percent so we'll see how long that takes i'm guessing maybe 25 30 minutes or so also tesla reduces the range at a busy supercharger they'll reduce your range your, your charge limit down to 80 percent so it did that automatically but then i was able to readjust my charging limit back up to 100 percent so i saw charging speeds range from 90 kilowatts when i first plugged in down to around 43 kilowatts when i was about finished that happens tesla does limit the charging rate as you get fuller in the battery so it does take longer to get to 100%. I was just going to end here about 92%. It took me about 28 minutes to get from 59% to 92%, which wasn't bad considering how full the battery was to start with. There was no cost to me for this charge session, which was awesome, which is what I wanted to test out. So I'm glad that my free supercharging is transferred. Successful to supercharge session, so I'm ready to hit the road. So overall, my supercharging experience with this car was awesome. First time using it on the with this car completely free. I'm not sure what the screen says when you're paying for it. Usually I know I had a, I had an old Model X that had uh, pay-per-use supercharging and then on the charging screen when I went to it I was able to uh, just see kind of the the total that was racking up. So this one uh, if I go here and I see uh, I go into my charging screen it says zero paid. Uh, I got about was about 26 27 kilowatts. Now going to the going to a supercharger with a 60% battery, you know it's going to charge slower. So if I had a, if I was at 10 or 15 or 
percent, a lot lower percentage, it would have charged a lot faster. But it's super cool that this car has the new latest charging hardware. It has the hardware for self-driving computer, the cameras, uh, and this thing can I can drive this thing. Go get super charging at no cost. Road trips are completely free. No, so guys, this is super exciting. I'm glad that this transfers. So now I feel like I can. If I want to sell my old Model S, I can, or my Model Y. Now that now this is all taken care of, everything's settled with this, now I can kind of uh, figure out what I'm going to do with my other cars. I really don't need three Teslas sitting in my garage right now. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'll leave a link to these other videos I did where I talk about the free supercharging transfer and then the delivery day of this car, if you haven't seen those yet. So check those out. Leave your comments down below. Curious, curious to hear what your thoughts are on this, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.